I am back today with layout number 33 in our family album series and today we are going racing. I changed this layout a little bit to fit um, for Daytona 500. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. You want to come down here and click on Create New Project. Left hand side toolbar, click on Insert Images. We're going to change this from All Images to Cartridges. In the search box, type in the word Family. This will bring up the Family Album Cartridge. Click on View All Images. I'm going to go to the right hand side below the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. And the layout we are making is right there. It's called I Love Vacation. Go ahead and click on that one. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. Left hand side toolbar, click on Set Canvas. In the search box, type in the word basic. This will bring up basic shapes. Go ahead and click on those. On the right hand side toolbar, click on Canvas. Here you can change the size and color. I'm making my cardstock piece be a 12 by 12 red. I'm going to bring my layout to the upper left hand corner of the canvas area. Use the arrows to make it fit on that page. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go to right click on it, choose ungroup. Now I did change this layout a lot, um, only to make it fit for Daytona 500, but of course you can leave it this way. I'm going to take this piece away as well. Take the title away. All right, now I'm going to actually bring this up. These two pieces here, I'm going to go ahead and um, hold down shift, click on the white one, hold down shift on my keyboard, click on the blue one, right click and make and choose group. And what I'm going to do is go to my layers tab or my edit panel on the right hand side, have that piece selected, and I'm going to make the outer blue square be four and a quarter by six and a quarter. This way that white piece will be able to hold a four by six photo. I right, said so the six by two, six point two five. That looks pretty good there. Now I'm going to go to remove these pieces. Oops, grab that one. Go back and grab this one over here. I'm going to right click on it, choose copy, right click with again and choose paste. And this time I'll just make it be a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. So back to my right hand side toolbar under edit. I'm going to unlock the lock, change it to be 4.25 by 4.25. I'm going to right click on that one and choose copy and then choose paste. So now I have my photo mats and the white would represent the photo area. All right, so I'm going to bring these up here. I'm going to group these two pieces together first. Just highlight both of them, right click and choose group. All right now we can kind of play around with color and placement. I'm going to bring these off to the side, I think, for right now. All right, so this can hold two photos in a journaling spot, or you can do three photos and journal up here. All right, but I do want to make this a racing layout. So I'm going to go to my left-hand side toolbar, click on Insert Images. In the search box, I think I typed in the word car. And I'm going to go to the right-hand side, click on the funnel, and change that to Cricut Access. And then find the car that looks more like a race car. I mean, they have this one here, but doesn't really look like a race car that you would use in Daytona. All right, so I'm going to grab that one there. That is from, I click on the eye, that's from Father's Day. I'm going to click on that one. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. I'll just make this be larger for right here. Go back to my left-hand side toolbar again. I click on Insert Images. And this time I want a stop sign, so I'm going to type in the word stop. And the stop sign I want, you can see a lot of them you have to pay for, so I'm going to find the free one, which is right there. It says, Don't Stop Playing, and that is from Nate's ABC, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. I'm going to go to my right-hand side toolbar, click on Sync. You can see we have lots of colors going on. I'm going to go to my Layers tab first, because I made this piece be red. I'm going to find the car, and make that be the same red color. The stop sign as well. Make that be the same red color. All right, let's get back to sync. All right, so we have this piece here. That's going to go behind this one. 
I'm going to click on that square and choose move to front so I can see what that looks like. All right, and then this one, I want two of them up, up here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and choose copy. Or click again and choose paste. Now I have two of them. Just click on this piece here, right click on and move to front. I think I want one to be green and one to be yellow. So I'm going to actually click on this piece over here. Go to my Layers tab, find it, it'll be highlighted. I'll make that be a yellow color. Get back to my Sync panel. So I have two greens. I'm going to drag one of the green to the yellow layer. So I'll have a green and yellow banner there. This white piece, um, I'm going to find the white here. Actually, I can't. There's a lot of white up here. So what I'm going to do is go to my Layers panel with that piece selected. I'm going to change the white and make that be just a... Um, I don't know, purple color. Go back to my sync panel. So now since I changed the color, I can see which one it is. I'm gonna make that one be green. So I'm gonna drag it to the green layer. Then I have that blue piece in the middle. I'm gonna drag that to the yellow layer. So now I have green and yellow there as well. Need to move them over a little bit. Move the stop sign down. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the stop sign, go to my layers tab. Now if you want to, you can right click on it, ungroup and use hide contour. But over here in your layers, you can see the part here that has the writing. I don't want that part, so I'm just going to click on the eye to close it, and that makes that part go away. I'm also going to change this cream color to a black color. All right, so I'm going to click on the car, right-click on that one, choose Move to Front. And I want to make the car be a green color, so I'm going to go to my sync panel again. And grab the red part of the car and bring it down to the green. I mean, but sometimes this car is green, sometimes it's like multicolored, but I'm going to go with a green car today. All right, left-hand side toolbar, click on Add Text. I'm going to type in the number 18 for his, his uh, car number. I'm going to go to my right-hand side toolbar, click on Edit, where it says Cricut after that. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, just so I can choose a different font. Just to give that a second to line, kind of load up for us. All right, and I changed that one to... Cricut Keystone. All right, I'm going to bring that fully though. I'm going to bring that down here on front of the car. Make it be big like that. Go back to my sync panel on the right and drag that number to the yellow area. Now, I don't like this cream color. I'm going to change that because the car you see has no tires, so the, the it's kind of transparent, so you'll see whatever background it is. I'm going to grab this tan layer and make it be, oh, I don't like yellow, I'm going to make it be white, I think. Yeah, white looks much better, so I'm going to bring this piece down some so the car is kind of on all that white. All right, so I think we look pretty good there. So now I know I need two four and a quarter by four and a quarter pieces of blue cardstock for our mat, so I'm going to remove those. Um, a piece of four and a quarter by six and a quarter, I can remove that piece as well to have the, um, my trimmer cut that out. The yellow piece, if I click on that and go to my edit panel, that is uh, 1.23 in high in height by 4.94 in width. I'll just make that be one and a quarter by five. I can remove that piece as well. And then this piece is 11.42 in width, 6.34 in height. I'm going to unlock it and try 6.5 in height, see what that looks like. Move that up some. Yeah, so I think, yeah, six and a half by eleven and a half. We'll go ahead and cut that one out on the trimmer as well. So all we have left now is these pieces here. Top toolbar, click on go. So we have the black piece for the car and the stop sign, the green. I'm going to bring these down so I'm able to cut them on just a smaller piece of paper. The red there and the yellow here. I'm actually going to go back and make my red layer my red, my red piece right there. I'm going to drag it to my yellow layer. Just by cut them on the same mat. Kind of save mat time here. All right, so we have the black. Again, just rearranging them to where I can cut them on a smaller piece of paper. Then we have this piece here. Now, I know, I know that piece is red, so I'm going to bring it down here to the lower right-hand corner of my mat. Then move these guys around up here so I can just use a yellow piece of cardstock in the upper left-hand corner and a red piece in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm going to click on go, cut all these out with the table, and put our, um, our layout together. All right, guys, we are back. Everything is cut out. I'm going to go ahead and separate some of these pieces and start assembling them. We're going to first start with the 
stop sign. I'm going to glue the outer part of this. And then we'll put that on the black piece here. Okay, now I'll put that center piece in there. And here I'm just going to write date out of 500 and the date. So that one is done. All right, now we have this car. Now this car was a struggle to kind of find a race car that kind of matched NASCARs. And I wish Cricket would come out with a NASCAR cartridge. I would love that. But for some reason they are not. And so this card is, this outline part is pretty intricate. So I'm just gonna kind of dot it around here and there just to help me hold it down a little bit. I'm not worried about getting all of the pieces glued. Just the bulk of it. I had, at first, when I did this layout, I had an old 50s type car, and Hubby didn't like it. He's like, nope, it doesn't look like a race car. Change the car out. So this is this car was his idea, not mine. But I do think it works, and I made it black and green because Kyle Busch's race car is green, although today it was yellow, and it was a crappy car because... He was out of the race. Um, they crashed in lap 105, I believe it was. And um, NASCAR has these new rules to where if you crash and your car has to go to the garage, you can't return. And um, his car was not able to return to the thing, to the track. And then they also, um, um, they, they, they're doing this new thing to where they had like stage one, um, <clears throat> they did like 60 laps, and then stage two was 60 laps. And he did win stage one. So he did get, um, I'm gonna say one point, I think for that, maybe 10, I'm not quite sure. I don't really understand the point system with NASCAR, we've only been following it maybe for three years, maybe. All right, so there's that, not too bad. And then I have his number. Eight. Sorry about that, guys. My camera beeped at me saying I had a insufficient space, so I had to go ahead and delete a few videos off the camera real quick. So we have number 18. I forget what I was saying now. That's going to go here. Yeah, so if they, if they can't finish the race, if they have to go to the garage to get their car fixed, then they, they're not allowed back on the track. And um, I think it's a good rule. Even before the race, when they talk about it, I, I do think it's a good rule. You know, because sometimes cars will get totaled and um, they can come back just for points, you know. And then I think with their car being wrecked that bad where they have to go to the garage and get repaired, oftentimes um, the car may not be in the best shape and they're only doing it to get points so they can finish the race. So I think it is a good rule, even though my driver today suffered because of it. but. Overall, I think it's a good choice. But I do want to try to figure out the, the just the NASCAR point system. I'm not quite sure because I've only been following NASCAR maybe for three years. So I'm not quite sure how that works. All right, so we have that white piece that we cut out on our own. That was six and a half by 11 and a half, I believe. All right, the car is going to go here and I'm gonna pop that up. Then we have all the other pieces we have our photo mats, four and a quarter by six and a quarter, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we have this yellow piece that's gonna go up here. And that's gonna go here. Stop sign's gonna go there. This is gonna go there. And the car is gonna kinda of go over that. Yeah. All right, so I'm first going to glue down these things. All right, I'm gonna glue this one to that green one. But um, his brother did win, Kurt Busch, he won. I was really happy for him as well, I do like him. And um, I, I think I told you guys before that Tony Stewart retired last year. Um, he is now um, to be a full-time owner of the Stewart Haas racing team, which was what Kurt Busch is on. And um, so I was really happy for Kurt Busch, it was his first Daytona win, and also for Tony Stewart. So it was a good day.
I think I'm going to put this one a little bit more out like that. All right, then we're going to go and glue this photo mat down. And I only have two photos, and they're both of Kyle Busch. All right, I'm going to glue this one down. I'm going to glue this one behind it. Now, I didn't add this tag. This was already there. It's kind of weird how it has a loopy on it when that loopy is going to be hidden. All right, that's going to come kind of over here a little bit like that. All right, so that's going to go there. Make sure I have room for the car. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. And I'm just using the art glitter glue you get from MamieMadeIt.com. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. That's going to go a little bit below that white. I'm going to completely cover it up. I'm going to flip the card real quick and go ahead and I guess I'll use foam tape. Otherwise I'll be using a gazillion little dots and that'll be really boring to watch. Okay, we'll put another one here and one on the back end. That one in half. And then one. I'm actually going to cut two more small ones for up here. And right here. I'm going to pop this up as well before I do that. I'm going to write on here um, Daytona 500. I'm just going to use the Crooked Marker. I need a scrap piece of paper. Okay. Uh, yeah, Daytona 500, and today's date is 226. 226, 17. Okay. All right, so flip this one over and pop that up as well. We have to glue this one down. Glue this one down here. You can put Daytona 500 up here on this yellow piece too, if you would like. All right, so we're gonna put that up here like that. And then this is gonna go down. photo mats were down. I need a dot right there. That's too big. All right, put this one back on the roll. All right, give all these guys a squish. We're going to take the backing off of them. I can't believe we're on layout 30 three already. I mean, this series seemed to fly by. I did have a really good time, though. And I want to say the next, um, I want to say maybe the next few weekends are going to be, you know, just generic layouts. Like, there's a, bar, um, a family uh, picnic, there's caroling, and the ones that are Christmas-related, like caroling and snowman building, um, I will change them out. Oh, i got to put the photo down first. Um, you know, because we don't carol. And we don't have snowman to build here in Florida. So I will change them. And then we'll go on with the regular ones, like the Christmas ones, Easter ones, that kind of thing. All right. So I have these two photos of him. I love that photo. That's him holding his son when they were doing the national anthem. Or that one when he was the winner of the stage one. I think I'm going to go with this one. Just a really pretty photo of him. So, yeah, the next... A um, few weekends, I'm not quite sure how many, but maybe, the, I don't know, two more weekends. They're going to be pretty generic layouts, and then we'll have the holidays coming up, like the Easter one, um, 4th of July, Halloween, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas. All those ones, I still am going to do them layouts. They're just going to be um, blank. Yeah, I'm not going to put photos on them. I'll just save them and I'll put them in my album, and then when that holiday comes, I'll just take photos to match 
that layout. All right, this is one, another um, collage I did on my phone. Um, that's him crashing. You see half his car? And there's him there. I was devastated, but, you know, it happens, right? At least he didn't get hurt. That's the good thing. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and plop our car down. And I'm going to put the car a little bit low so I can make sure I see I still see his car. Kind of, I don't know if I want to go off-centered or not. Let's going to put the stop sign down first. All right, that's going to go there. So the car, you know, I'm going to go a little bit off-centered so it's not perfect. I'm going to slap that guy down. And I did my journaling already. Um, that way that would be done. I put my journaling up here, otherwise the car would block it. It's just his first race of the year, and Kyle Busch will not finish. He did win stage one of the race, but crashed on lap 105. Had to take his car to the garage, and new NASCAR rules says he can't finish. And you can see I went to do it on the other side, and I messed up. Good thing paper has two sides, right? Alrighty. So I think it's a cute layout. I do like the layout. I like the colors. Because if you guys want to keep the layout traditional, the way they are in design space, you can do that as well. But um, I do like changing them up, see what you guys, you know, see what else you can come up with versus the one they have. All right, there you have it, my friends. Layout 33. Is it 33? Yeah, 33. Isn't that cute? Love that baby. And then there's the car there. All right, guys, um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.